Hey guys, Dan Booknook Noggin here, and I recently just read this. Um, this is Wolverine Snicked. I, I feel weird saying that because it's a sound effect that they usually reserve for when Wolverine's popping his claws. If you are an X fan, if you are someone who is a Wolverine fan, then you know this. Um, this is a book that was put out by Viz Media and Marvel. It's a 2023 book. Um, and it's rated T plus, older teen. Um, yeah, I, I'm not familiar with who this artist is, but I know he's a manga illustrator. Uh, his name is, uh, I'm gonna, I'm hopefully I'm not gonna butcher this guy's name, but it's Satomo Nihei. And, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not familiar with him. I've never heard of him, but I know that he's an illustrator. And they got, um, another guy who's not mentioned, his name's not mentioned on the cover, or, I, it's mentioned somewhere else in the book. But they got, okay, the colorist is Guru Effects. Okay, but the story... And this is where I, I, I'm going to start off by saying I gave this a 3 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. And I'm going to explain why I gave it a 3 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. The story was really, really lacking. I'm going to say that. You got a guy who's a fantastic illustrator. Don't get me wrong. This is, I love this artwork. I love this style of art. You got to look at this stuff. It's phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. Phenomenal art. But if, you know, if Marvel knew they were going to do this project with this guy, why did they not hire a writer to write a better story? They kind of left it up to a guy who is mainly an artist to come, to, you know, come up with his own story. So, I mean, the story was really, really lacking. Um... So that's why I and I think that it's a three is an average rating for this book on Goodreads. So don't expect a lot out of it. I mean, it is your basic story. It's kind of it's kind of got feels like it's got plot holes. There's not much substance to it. Um, basically, there's this lady from the future. She somehow she they don't even explain whether she's a mutant or what the deal is, but she comes back at the time, she grabs Wolverine's hand and says, hey, I need your help. Next thing you know, Wolverine's, like, trapped in the future, and he's told he has to fight this, like, weird kind of, uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to explain what it is, but it's, uh... Basically, to save humanity, he has to fight this monstrous type scenario and I don't even know how to explain it. It was just kind of weird. But if you read it, you'll kind of, you'll get the idea of it. And yeah, like I said, there wasn't much substance to the story. But fantastic artwork. I mean, look at this art, man. The artwork is, is really good. Um, I'm probably going to go and check out and see what other stuff this guy has done because I'm really impressed with the artwork. But that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Just because I thought the artwork was really good. And if you are a Wolverine fan, you may or may not be aware of this. Like, maybe you've seen it. Maybe you haven't. But, you know, it's it's okay. Like I said, they really, if they were planning this project, they really should have hired a writer to write the story. And then, and maybe it was because the guy's all the way in Japan. Maybe that's why they did it the way they did. But, I mean, because it shows in the very back, it shows the original pictures. They're all just black and whites, you know, because the guy's just an illustrator. He's not a colorist, too. And he's not very good at writing stories, either. So, <laughs> it's kind of what it is. Uh, but if you are interested in checking this out, I'm going to have a link to Amazon down below if you can help. Support my channel by purchasing anything through that link. It doesn't necessarily have to be this book per se. Um, any item you purchase through that link, I get a small percentage of. Um, I'm also going to throw it on my coffee link if you got something out of watching this video. Um, if you're new here, you want to see more comic book graphic novel recommendations, by all means, hit that subscriber button and hit that notification bell. 
This has been Dan. This has been a really short one because there's really not too much I can say about this book. It was interesting. That's all I can really say. It wasn't wasn't fantastic, wasn't great. It didn't suck. By all means, it didn't suck, but it was okay. Three out of five stars for me. And I feel like I think that's the average rating on Goodreads for this as well. But until next time, guys, later.